What's going on everybody? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we have another video for you today. It is Friday and we've had a crazy busy morning getting things organized and taken care of up here. We didn't even think about shooting any film. Yeah, I wish <laughs> so, we did because it looks really nice. Yeah, I'll kind of show you what we got. What we did. We had all those shoes. I got those all bagged up. Kathy got them all typed yeah. in. But then we realized we had nowhere to put them. We so. ran out of inventory space. And if you have a keen eye, you probably noticed we got a couple more boxes up here. Yeah, and then well, this kind of in the way right now, but it is what it is for now. Yeah. So this now both of these racks are fully listed inventory. So that before rack can go back here. I guess. I just don't like, I don't like it in either spot, so. Yeah. Know. I don't know about that, but that is what it is. But we also did this in the closet up here. We added <laughs> five, more. five more in the closet. So D O through D S. We moved the play shoes there for now. And I relisted, I relisted, but also it, they weren't listed on all platforms. So they might have sold already by now if they were. So, yeah. Um, hopefully that gets some new interest. There's probably eight or so pairs of each size left from down from like I think I got 30 or so to begin with so yeah not bad so yeah hopefully they'll sell off this summer yeah but yeah it's feeling good as good as it can <laughs> be for being overcrowded I guess yeah um, so we've had we have seven more boxes of inventory space from as of today yeah more than we had yesterday and everything's mostly put away other than the kids clothes <laughs> stuff um, <laughs> and then this is just some Stuff I this is what I'm gonna photograph this weekend or hopefully today. Yeah. Um, other than that, yeah. I mean, we have one more bins haul to record before we go on our trip, mm -hmm. and then I'd like to get some of that list not listed at least photographed before we go, but it probably won't happen. Right. Because when we get back, I mean, we plan on sourcing on our trip, even though yeah, it's not specifically a sourcing trip, but we're gonna get stuff on the way and on the way back. So for it's sure, be busy when we get back. <laughs> Yeah, and we did on our live last night, we had talked a little bit about some things that were, because, you know, sales are a little bit slow right now, but Kathy has still been keeping up with her 15 listings a day, which is why we're in the predicament of not enough space, and we had to add the the uh, inventory boxes over there. So we're, we've been talking a little bit about while we're on our vacation, and when we have a little bit of downtime, and when the kids are in bed late at night, we're going to go through some of our older listings, maybe put them in like in a new category on eBay, and run uh, a pretty heavy sale, maybe 50, 60%. It really just depends on what, what it is and how long we've had it and how much money we have in it. So that's something that we're going to do even when we're out and about because, you know, we're going to, I don't think we're putting our stores on away mode, but we are going to be extending our handling, right? The rest of them we might have. Yeah, like Facebook and Mercari, we're going to put that stuff on away or on vacation modes and all that. But with eBay, you know, we're just going to extend the handling time. We're still going to be sending offers whenever we can, and then just... <laughs> Hopefully we come back and have yeah. some space to fill up yeah. with new stuff. So. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to find a lot more stuff yeah. than we're going to sell while we're gone. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but so. that's the that's what the situation we're in right now. Our inventory is, well, since we put those, we do have a couple more empty boxes now, but yeah. those are going to fill up quick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, especially with shoes, you can only fit maybe 10 pairs. Yeah. They're not huge. And there's, what, three empty right now. <laughs> so that's like one or two days worth of listings, assuming we don't sell stuff out of the other boxes. Right. So, so yeah. that's what the situation <laughs> we're in. But we do have some sales to pull today. Yeah. Some pretty good sales. Some of my bins items have sold from my haul with Rebecca. So that's good because cost of goods is so low. So nice profits on those. Um, these were not from the bins. These are just a pair of rainbow flip-flops. Purchased these at a Goodwill for $9.99, sold them for $40 on pot. So nice. Really nice sale there. Um, that was an offer someone sent me. I accepted. Okay. We'll ship that out in a regional A flat box. A box Q. This was a uh, Poshmark seal via Posh or VA sending an offer for me. Um, it's a women's Columbia PFG. I have $4.90 into this. Uh, they got an offer of 20 with discount shipping and accepted. So about a $9 and change profit. Not too bad. Not bad at all. And now I'll do a regional A flat on that as well. Yeah, that, that box. <laughs> that was just sitting <laughs> was up the on the closet. shelf in I the think closet. I we'll use it today, so. Yeah. 
you know, it's it's good to go through that kind of stuff every once in a while. There and was a bunch just shoved in the closet. Yeah. And we were able to get rid of it and stuff, so. Yeah. We found a lot of space. I'm surprised at how much space we found today just and doing that. we can that. definitely make more, too. So. Yeah, just got to get a little creative. All right, uh, these are some little baby Birkenstocks. I actually bought these off Kittizen specifically to flip. I only paid $9 for them, like nine forty something with tax, but $9 into $34 plus shipping on Mercari, so not bad at all. No. Um, I'm probably going to... I would normally do a poly mailer, but the buyer already paid for a one pound label. These are probably like nine ounces. So I Maybe think we find have some box. small little boxes that, yeah. Yeah. Make some more space by using those up. So it would still be first class. Yeah. Since it's a, a as pound. long as I can keep it under a pound. If not, I'll right. just do a mailer. What do you think about that, Reese? Yeah? Okay. Okay. This is actually going out to our viewer, Tina. It's a cat and dip. Cute little shirt, a uh, lion, and it says cool cat on it. Nice. This was our, um, I think both of my kids have worn this. Uh, it came from Target. I don't remember how much I paid, but Tina bought it for $8.50 free shipping. I did go through pirate ship on that just because it was like under four ounces. And again, they don't have a label for that on Kittizen. Mm -hmm. So I did that and we'll just ship in a poly mailer. Tina, thank you so much for that support. We appreciate it. Hope your kiddo enjoys the <laughs> shirt. Is it close enough to Easter to use bunny mailers? I think so. I mean, it's the next holiday, right? <laughs> yeah. Still like a month away, but actually probably should get to using them then. Yeah. All right, be you. Just can go back over here for the time. For, yeah, because this rack now is kind of encroaching. So it is a little inconvenient because those three boxes, we're going to have to move this rack if we ever have to get into those. Maybe when we're recording, we can keep Reese's bed there. And yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to be creative. He said be you right be there. You. Oh, there's some space. Oh, yeah, nice. Where so, yeah, if we do find space like that or if we pull anything big, what we really typically bad. do is just... <laughs> Leave it out a little bit just to kind of notify us next time when we're looking for space. Yeah. But that's just kind of something we do. Yeah. <laughs> um, I did sell this Faraday, however you say that, shirt. This was a retail arbitrage find for seven. I got an offer on eBay. I must have turned on best offer on this because someone offered 30 and it didn't auto accept. I had to go and accept it, but they wrote a message saying, I'll pay right away if you accept. So I accept it. <laughs> it's been listed a while. It's a men's extra small. So not like, I don't think there's people lining up to buy men's extra small shirts. So yeah. I was happy to accept $30 for that. Yeah. So now in just a woodland mailer. So is that, that's not considered extortion? What? <laughs> <laughs> if you make the offer, I'll buy it right now. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I mean, that made me accept it. <laughs> All right. I guess it'd be more like, if you don't do this, then I'll do that, right? Yeah. If you don't give me this for free, I'll give you bad feedback on eBay. <laughs> yep. I sold these cute little baby LeBron crib shoes. Um, I actually bought these at Once Upon a Child just a few days ago for, after my discount, $4.40. Sold them for $34.95 plus ship. So really good sale there. Nice. Um, Got a little bit of space in our inventory. <laughs> Funny mailer for those. Okay, another viewer sale, and these I know are right here. All right, these are some Nike Kyrie. I'll lace them up and everything right yeah. now. They're just kind of all over the place. Um, but yeah, these sold to our viewer, Andrea. She said her and her boyfriend watch our channel every day, and awesome. they're for him, so. Um, I bought these, I did pay off for them. When I looked up comps, they were going between like, I want to say like 60 to 80 dollars so i did pay 16.99 for them and yeah they bought them from us for 63 with discount shipping so they accepted the posher va offer awesome so thank you guys thank you so much and thanks for watching yes. andrea and boyfriend we appreciate appreciate all the support yeah, thanks I hope you love the shoes yeah um so poshmark i feel like they might be a little too big for this box yeah let's do a regional b on those although in here right now. Yep. Regional B. There we go. <laughs> All right, BJ sold some Tevas. Tevas, yeah. <laughs> For the rest of time, you will hear me say it both ways. <laughs> <laughs> All right, these are from the Bintal with Rebecca. 
So I only had a dollar eighty four into the shoes, sold them for an offer of thirty dollars that I accepted on pop. Sweet. And those should fit in that little box. All right. So. Okay, and lastly, this also came from that same bin house. I saw a car driving. Hmm. It's just a neighbor. All right, the Ufos from the bins. Again, a dollar eighty four into these. Sold them on Facebook Marketplace for thirty seven thirty five plus ship. Sweet. So, Facebook bad. Marketplace. Yeah, those are under a pound, so they're just gonna go out in a large mailer. And there you have it. Very nice. Nothing else yet. There was someone on Posh who said, "Can I get the same offer from yesterday?" But they haven't bought it yet, so. <laughs> Okay. Hopefully they do. Should we extort them? No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll get this stuff packed up and then we'll check back in. It's uh, it's what well, it's 130. So yeah, yeah, we'll be back in a few minutes after we pack that stuff up. All right, guys. So future Chris, <laughs> if you notice, I'm wearing a different shirt. As I was editing this video, I realized that we completely forgot to record a closer for the video. So here it is. Um, yeah, we didn't have any more sales that day, and we took everything off to the post office and. I think it was just a super busy day. I don't know why we completely spaced not recording a closer. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Thanks for the support, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye.